Hey, we're uh, John and Kendra of Abbott Nature Photography, and we've shown you three different variations on white boxes. And so we thought that what would be useful is what are the positives and negatives of all of these? You find them on the internet all over. So um, why choose one over the other? So that's what we're going to go through today. So if that's of interest to you, you can like and subscribe so that you can see more content like this. So for starters, I guess we'll start out with the really cheap $5 or less white box that we made with um, foam core. So again, these are white boxes that are really specifically geared for insect or small wildlife uh, subjects like that and using flash, not necessarily continuous lighting. So for me, the positive of a foam core built box like this is it cheap, lightweight, portable uh, and readily available uh, depending upon where you're going. You can pick up this foam core in, in lots of different places. Uh, it doesn't take much to uh, assemble and put together and it's also highly modifiable. You can uh, change the size, um, go smaller, bigger, or make other modifications as you want. So I think those are all positives. Negatives, um, it is um, cheap <laughs> and can you know will, will suffer it won't hold up over time yeah. for very long especially in human environments especially in human environments and outdoors but given how cheap it is you just recreate it uh, you know as you need to which is then another negative which it's high waste it's a high waste white box it's true um, another negative I think potentially with this one would be stability uh, it is uh, if you need something a little bit more rock solid just for whatever reasons, then that's not, this is not your box. This is certainly, you know, a little bit more, uh, or a little bit less stable, um, you know, but works well, even in the field, um, you know, for situations where stability is not super uh, important to you. Yeah, uh, it does bounce. Another positive is that it really does bounce light really well, probably better than the next one we're going to talk about, which is the cloth pop-up one. Um, it does a great job because uh, it just con continuously bounces that light around in here and not that much escapes. So that's a plus too. Absolutely. Any other thoughts on the $5 or less? Not that I can think of. Me either. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so we got coffee. I did. He doesn't drink coffee. But, uh, and then we moved on to the second white box, which is this uh, pop-up white box. Right? Yeah, sometimes called light tents or light sheds. Um, positives with this, um, very compact, uh, very lightweight. They come in a variety of different sizes um, and could be modifiable. Uh, we've taken the backs out of, out of some that we have, for example. Yeah, um, and actually mm -hmm. some folks have commented that they have a much larger one. We do too. We have various sizes um, that we take to these uh, workshops just because there's all sorts of different things you might want to do. This is great for insects, but even when you start getting larger insects that are moving around a lot um, or any other uh, sort of nature that you want to put in there, the larger ones tend to be nicer. Yeah, if you're using, you know, if you're trying to photograph snakes or lizards or something like that, then you certainly may want a larger one as well. Another, uh, I'd say positive and negative uh, with a box like this is it gives you more flexibility and creativity potential with the lighting uh, because you can actually have the flashes outside of the box using the diffusion material as, as diffusion, uh, but you can also have uh, the flash is inside the box like they do now. Why did I say positive and negative? Because it is somewhat transparent. If you have them just sitting in there like this, you will lose a lot of light. Uh, so again, easy remedies is to throw something like a towel or anything that's more opaque and white over it, the tops and the sides, and that will help with the bounce in there. But you're still going to be losing some light compared to, say, 
the opaque, uh, purely opaque foam core box uh, walls that we showed you earlier. And to add to that mm. and sort of a positive of that feature is that if you want to create more of a mood with your subject, you know, so like darker on one side, lighter on another, you can add more light to one side shooting through and not so much on the other and stuff like that. So you, you do have more flexibility with being creative with your lighting with this box. Absolutely. And then probably the only other, the negative, you know, another negative that I can think of for this one is that they, because of their, again, really compactness and portability, they won't stand up literally uh, over time. But again, a real easy solution to that is uh, using these um, monopods or uh, selfie sticks uh, to just kind of support. You can see when I took that one out, it already falls a little bit. But you add that in there and it really provides a lot of support uh, for the box. Uh, and these things, because they telescope out quite a bit, they can handle a variety of different size uh, boxes. Um, another negative I would say to this box um, is that it gets very dirty. It's A positive is we probably, this is our go-to travel white box. This is what we take when we're in the field, whether we're traveling in the States or internationally. This is generally what we take because it's easiest to transport. However, if you saw our video on this white box, you probably got a small glimpse of how dirty this white box is because it's so well loved. So um, actually, if anybody knows how to clean these, you can put that in the comments below. <laughs> We've never tried to throw it in the wash. Uh, no, I don't think it would hold up well that yeah. <laughs> way. But the positive side um, of that, I guess, is that they're not very expensive. So, you know, eventually we'll just replace it. Um, they certainly have a longer life than the foam core boxes. But, you know, they are, I don't want to say disposable, but they're, they're certainly um, very economical. Uh, so that's one way to, to handle that. And I don't. we didn't talk about it too much I think when we actually gave the specifics on this box, but a lot of them like this one come with Velcro on the front that would allow you to put, uh, you know, a, a piece of fabric that comes with it that you can shoot through. So it would kind of keep your insect uh, in there if you have something that's very flighty or you're worried about it getting away. This one would be really good for that because it would basically keep the insect in there and just has a slit for shooting through. And I think I failed to, to mention that earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Any of these boxes can be modified that way to try and keep your critter in until you get the perfect shot and want to release it. <laughs> yep. Or if you're an entomologist and have a collection at Don't university, you can collect it and then get a positive ID on it. <laughs> That's right. Key it out. So, yeah. So, any other thoughts with this one? I think those are the highlights. Yeah. Um, okay, on to our the biggest and probably our favorite white box, uh, our, our DIY Big Man Pajama box. <laughs> custom made out of PVC. <laughs> That's right. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so for our third and final uh, white box, it's our DIY PVC box. And if you haven't seen our other videos I will I, on this box, uh, I will link it above. But as a review, um, we just have these sort of um, perspex. perspex, thanks, uh, here that diffuses the flashes. We've got two flashes on this side, two flashes on this side, sort of pointing upward so it bounces around in here. And we have a back that can be put on or taken off just depending on the lighting and the subject and that sort of thing. Um, so that's sort of in a nutshell. So what are the benefits, positive, negative of this? Yeah, for me this has, um, is basically just a more permanent version of the foam core box. Uh, it, so it's got those same benefits, opaque sides where light can really bounce around well. Um, but obviously with the extruded or foamed PVC, a more permanent um, setup. Um, <clears throat> I... One thing that this box has that the PVC or the uh, foam core one doesn't is a little bit of flash diffusion initially through this perspex. So in a sense, it's a little bit of a hybrid actually of the other two boxes that we showed. But certainly more permanent. Um, the flexibility is less so perhaps um, throughout its usage, but you obviously it's flexible since you're building it to tweak it and make it customize it as you want initially. Uh, but you know, if I decided I needed to add something on or 
cut something into it, that's hard to do when I've got a, you know, an insect that's, that's right there. Um, I like it because it's permanently set up. Everything can be pretty much AC powered, just hitting a power switch turns it on. I mean, you could say that with the others as well if you set it up that way, but just the whole setup is just way more permanent in that way. And the reason that's a plus <laughs> is because if you if you if your flashes are just running on battery, you're recharged. So if you want to take like you take a picture and then all of a sudden your subject does the perfect thing, your a lot of times your battery haven't recharged and you don't get the same lighting, and then you miss the shot. So that's this right. prevents that. That's right. Uh, you know, modeling light or lights here, kind of constant. Um, have those with the other one, but again, bigger lights, AC powered, uh, you know, some flexibility um, in that way. Um, Another positive <clears throat> is it, it is more sturdy, so we can put these plants and sort of things on there. So some insects feel more comfortable when they're on a plant or a leaf or a stem. And so we often will use these to just make the bug more comfortable. That's, that's really a good point, that the other two are a little bit, don't come up to the same level with this. Um, you could clamp something onto the foam core, but you'll need to be careful. You know, I oftentimes, let's see, yeah, I've got a clamp on both the front and the back right now. I've got uh, little adapters here for putting modeling lights. Um, so you can attach things in a way that you can't do with the other two. So that, that is a good point. And while we do mm -hmm. use these uh, modeling light in those other two boxes, it is on the ground and uh, when you're wrangling bugs, definitely it's going to get knocked over, be in your way. Uh, where here they are out of the way yeah. for us. Another good good positive with it, I agree. Yeah. Um, what other? What I felt? Oh, it, a negative? It is super soft. Um, so we have tried to take this places, especially because, you know, we're trying to photograph a lot of stuff on white for our, well, we just submitted the Texas insect guide, but also the Peterson field guide to insects. So we tried to take this around to try and photograph stuff with, with it. Um, cause we do like it the best <clears throat> lighting wise, but it, it became, it was obvious that we were going to destroy it fairly quickly cause it would be dented and. Well, it's, it, yeah, I mean, it's just bulky and big, so it's not as portable. Um, the material is soft, yes, uh, you can gouge it, scratch it, but I've had this one now for a number of years and pretty constant usage, I mean, almost daily yeah. uh, at times. Uh, and, I mean, it, it holds up fine, uh, I would say, in that respect. Um, so, <clears throat> but, it, but it is not something that uh, I would just throw in the back of the car and, and haul around because it doesn't collapse down any more than what you see right here. Yeah, uh, another positive that you probably could do with the other boxes, but it would be clunkier, is if you needed to add more light to light something up. So if you had something super dark that really needed to be lit up, or super tiny, tiny and right. you needed a lot more light in there, um, then we can add up to eight flashes uh, on here. So we can do, we can do two and two on each side, so. Four and four on each side. Oh, sorry, yeah, I would do two, two, so four, oh. four, eight, yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, so yeah, total of eight um, in here, which is nice, that flexibility is nice, which yeah. you could do with the others, but it would, it would be, uh, it, they would be falling over, you would, they would be getting in your way, you wouldn't have as much space for your critter. That's right, yeah. It certainly provides much greater flexibility in terms of your lighting, both continuous modeling lights and your flashes with a system like this, I would say. What do you have in here, an aphid? Yeah, that's a, a giant uh, woolly aphid yeah, that I uh, found uh, yesterday. Black lighting. Oh, that's another video we need to do. It's the black light setup. Any other positives? Negatives? No. I would say one more <laughs> positive um, is that it is actually really nice to stick the back on this um, and be able to keep a subject in your box and feel confident that it can't get out. Um, yeah, and you can throw cloth fabric like we showed on the front. So actually, really, we did, we forgot to show it in the final video. One of the takes that we did, we showed it, but, because um, we got a comment about that, like, what do you ever put something in front of it? And we do, we have some. So much things. like the, the collapsible um, soft box that uh, we talked about, we've got a clamp in the way here. Uh, I just put Velcro on here and uh, you can just add fabric to it and then I can just shoot through here. 
I'm using this kind of fabric to allow a little bit more light uh, to come out, but um, it does reflect some back in there as well. <clears throat> so really all three of them can be modified to help contain your subject in there uh, just in different ways. And I guess uh, compared to the foam core box, this is basically zero waste. <laughs> We've yeah. had it for, I mean, how many years? Uh, probably over 10, I would yeah, think. Yeah, maybe a decade or so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've actually had friends beg us to build a few for them. This is not an offer. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've actually, I don't know, probably built four or five of them for folks. Um, so, and they love them as well. Any others? Positive, negative? Uh, I got one more actually, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, we do have a hole up here. Uh, it's, it's much easier to shoot from the top with this box, which we do a lot, especially since we're targeting the tiny stuff now for these books. Um, That's actually a huge one. That's right. You could modify the foam core boxes. For that matter, you could modify the, the, the collapsible light tints that way too, just flipping it where the, the big opening is on the top. Um, but uh, this one probably... You know, again, being sturdy, it just allows me to quickly and easily shoot from front straight in or from the top without having to reposition the subject. And, and bother yeah, the subject because yeah, then it'll get like right. agitated, you have to wait for it to settle. Right. So I, I, that is a, actually a big plus uh, and I do use that a lot. Having a copy stand behind it allows me to, to uh, if I want to actually have a more um, consistent stack or something like that, I can just throw a camera on there and, and uh, have it shooting straight down as well. So, yeah, that's probably a, a big one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so those are our three white boxes, the three variations that we have used and do use. Uh, I guess tell us in the comments which one you think is your favorite, and if uh, you have any other modifications that we have maybe missed in these. Um, so. Yeah, always interested in what uh, folks think in, uh, in terms of ways to modify or improve. Um, I, I'm always taking advantage of such comments, so um, I welcome them. Yeah, so I'll, I'll steal a quote that I saw someone use on YouTube. So we, we would love to figure out what the collective brain on YouTube <laughs> thinks of this. So um, anyway, so if you like uh, this content or want more of it, want to be notified of it, you can like and subscribe and uh, you will be, you can hit the bell and be notified when we make more videos like this and it encourages us to make more. So uh, thanks for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye.